All right, so we're going to be looking at another binary division problem again. And here we have a much simpler um, example. So here we have a three-digit number. And we're going to see, does this three-digit number go into this first digit over here? And the answer is no, it doesn't. And then we look at the three-digit number and we say, does it go into these two digits? And the answer again is no, it doesn't. Then we look at this three-digit number and say, does it go into these three digits? And the answer in this case is yes, it does, because this is the number five, as you know, and this one, one, zero is the number six. So it definitely goes in. And when it goes in, you're going to say one times this number, and you're going to write this number down. All right. And then we're going to subtract. And that's going to be... Uh, 0 minus 1. So there we can't do that. So we're going to borrow. So we're going to say 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. And 1 minus 1 is 0. All right. And then what we do is, as soon as we subtract, we bring down the next bit. So I'm going to bring down the 1. Okay. Then I'm going to check, does this number go into this number? And the answer is no, it doesn't. All right, and then I'm going to bring down the next bit. Does this number go into this number? And the answer is yes, it does. So we're going to write down that. All right, and then we're going to say 1 times that number we get the same number, 101. And again, we're going to subtract. Borrow again. 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then we have that as our remainder. So that's how we... Um, do the binary division.